<laughs> hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic, where we spread joy and positivity through sewing and fabric play. In this video, I am going to show you how to make an easy peasy 10 minute pillowcase that looks extra ooh la la, uber professional, and you'll wanna give us gifts, you wanna decorate your own decor. It's just a bombastic type of pillowcase that I'm gonna help you out with. So, if that's what you're here for before we get into the content, Anytime you're enjoying this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get ready to have some fun together. So my daughter, Helena, she wanted some curtains. She has this bunk bed and she wanted curtains on the bottom to like keep herself hidden, I guess, whenever she's like, I don't know what five-year-olds do. And then she picked this. It's a Barry J print from Indigo and Astra, I think it's called. And I had just a little bit left over. So I was like, hey, why don't I make some pillowcases that will coordinate with it? And so I'm going to teach you how to make them. So I have this. This is a half yard cut. And I cut them into nine inches. And I'm gonna have all of these measurements on my blog and in the description, so no sweat having to write it down now. And then, for the main fabric, I picked this one, ooh la la! And you need 45 inches in total with the fabric. And that's for two pillows. I'm doing two pillows because like no one does one pillowcase. You want two, right? And so I cut these in half and each one is 22.5. And these are the measurements for a standard pillowcase. If you want a larger pillowcase, I have those on my blog too, the different cuts that you would need to make. And then for some ooh la la va va voom, I have this. It is a one and a half inch strip. I have two of them. I kind of wanted like it to look like piping, not like a big, like ginormous flange, just for a little accent in the pillow. So I have two of these. Once again, this is for two pillows. So now we are ready to get started constructing. So let me see how I can show you. This is one long piece of fabric here. And I am going to, what should I do? I'm going to go to my living room and take some pictures of this because I like my setup here and I don't want to change it. So now I have all of the pieces. I have this and this and this for one pillow. And then I have some clips because clips are awesome. These are my mini wonder clips. And how it goes is this is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Hopefully I frame it right still. It's not perfect. Lo siento. And here. This goes like this. And I'm making two, so I'm gonna make sure that I do it on the right spot. Yeah, and it appears right. And then, this right here will go here because this is the flange. And put it on the edge. And then, this right here, I'm lining up all of the selvages. We're gonna trim some of it off, but it's all good. Line this up right here. So, we want this to be lined up. And then what we do is just start to fold this or roll it or do whatever. Just get it out of the way like that. And then like this, you're going to line up all of the raw edges. See, see, and then you clip like that. And then you're going to clip. Just make sure all of the edges are lined up because there should be one, two, three, four, five edges you're playing with here. And then I'll probably do it about every six inches. And then just make sure that as you're doing it, because as you see right here, it's starting to like buckle. I don't know if buckle's the right word, whatever. And make sure all of them are flush, that none of them are buckle or janky because then it'll be like a janky pillow and you don't want that. So here, and I am going to fast forward through the rest of this so you don't have to see it in real time. Hey, I'm back over at my sewing machine and I am going to stitch all five of those seams, the raw edges together, which is this at a quarter of an inch. And this is like, I finally measured it. This is like, a little bit larger than a quarter of an inch, so I'm just gonna use that, whatever. <laughs> and get started. 
Just a standard needle. Get going. Oh, slow that down. It's a little fast. <laughs> like this. See? And as I go, I'm still going to make sure just because, I mean, there aren't very many seams. You want to make sure to get them right and spend a little bit extra attention so that it will be a va va boom pillow. See? And I'm just going along. Right there. Sewing at a quarter of an inch. Then I'll do it the entire length and then I'll show you what I do next. Fast forwarding. So now that I finished sewing up the burrito, and this is a quarter inch, like you're not gonna see this seam, so whatever. What you're gonna do is take out the inside of the burrito and you're going to unstuff it, right? This is all going to be the outside and you'll see the pretty goodness once it's out. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> and you can start to see how cool the pillow is going to look. Ooh, look, this is so cute. Oh, I might do the reverse for the curtain. This would be really, really cool. So now I'm going to press this, like press this part of it to make it crisp. And then I'll do some trimming that I'm gonna show you, but I'm not gonna show you the ironing. So when I come back, it's gonna be trimming. <laughs> okay, so now I have the pillowcase. It is lined up right here. And I made sure right here is the main spot where these two seams meet so that they are lined up with the overall pillowcase. And now we're going to trim off the excess to where this part of it is 20 inches. So I'm going to trim it to 20 and a half. And I'll just do a half inch seam allowance right here. So one, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. <laughs> and just a little bit. There's the half. There's the half. And I have this ergonomic, like, this is neat. Okay, and then right here. So I have all of this done, and let me just see if this is squared off. And I will square this off. Okay. And then that is all you have to do with this. And leave it like this. Don't make it right sides together because I'm going to show you something different to make this extra va va boom professional. Okay, so if you have left this like this, then you're ready to go because I'm going to use a French seam. If you've never sewn a French seam, essentially, I'm gonna sew with the wrong sides together, turn it inside out, and then sew that to hide it. And both of them are going to be at a quarter of an inch seam. So I will start here and go inside right there. I'm just gonna stitch this all the way around. I'll fast forward. I am back stitching here, just to secure that seam. And then this, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna trim this to an eighth of an inch and then flip it inside out and I'll come back to my sewing machine with this flipped inside out. This, you can't tell from here, but it's inside out and I have pressed these seams with an iron and one thing just to show you the corners, I made sure to push these out as much as possible so that they are crisp corners. And I trimmed that to an eighth of an inch like this. See, it's smaller. So now when I sew a quarter of an inch again, that raw edge is going to be hidden. And let me show you the magic. Right here, I'm gonna back stitch since this is a major intersection. And then I'm just going to stitch here. This is seams that I first learned when I was sewing some jeans. When I was making jeans, it's a common pocket seam. That's the most utility I've ever seen, so it's a great place to use it here. Anytime you're ever able to use this fancy seam to hide all of the raw edges, you are definitely going to impress. So now I'm just gonna stitch this up 
quarter of an inch. And I'll fast forward. And then I got to the end, I lied. I wanted to show you one more thing. This right here, because if you're not used to back stitching, back stitch here also, because it will secure that. So yay, we have finished our pillowcase and it will probably take you less time to make this pillowcase <laughs> than it will take for you to watch this video. And so that's why you need to make two because then that'll take a little bit longer. <laughs> But this legit took me 10 minutes, making two took me 15 minutes. This is awesome. And because of the seams on the inside and the way that this was constructed, this is even better than anything that you can buy store-bought. So definitely a blah, 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 boom, ooh, la, la gift. And I would be jazzed if I got something like this and I cannot wait to show Helena because I know she's going to be jazzed as well. So if you enjoyed this video, got a laugh or a tip or a trick or two, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive y'all. Mr. Domestic out. <laughs>